Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman presented the union budget for 2024 today. The focus in this budget was on the middle class and youth employment. Government had stated nine priorities in this budget. But on the taxation front, two major changes were made for the people who want to choose the new tax regime. Capital gains tax was also increased. So let's simplify and understand these tax changes one by one. the capital gains tax well previously for listed equities shares and equity oriented mfs the ltcg was at 10 percent now long-term capital gains tax has been raised to 12.5 percent from 10 percent on financial and non-financial assets the short-term capital gains tax has also increased to 20 percent from 15 percent this increase was not welcomed by many experts as such However, the exemption limit has been increased to 1.25 lakh rupees per annum. Unlisted bonds and debentures are also now applicable to the capital gains tax. On futures and options front, STT has been raised to 0.02%. A short brief on what LTCG and STCG are. LTCG is taxed on listed securities if held for more than one year, on unlisted securities for more than 24 months for movable assets like gold, silver and paintings if held for 36 months. STCG is taxed if an asset is sold before one year for equities and equity-oriented MFs, for housing and immovable properties if sold before 24 months. Now coming to the income tax changes. No news for the old tax regime choosers. However, under the new tax regime, two important changes were made. Standard deduction limit has been hiked from 50,000 rupees to 75,000 rupees. Now, this is a big relief for the middle class. Over this, the tax slabs have been changed under the new tax regime. Let's first look at the earlier tax slabs. For FY24, in the new tax regime, income up to 3 lakh rupees is exempt from tax. From 3 to 6 lakh rupees, it was at 5%. For 6 to 9 lakh rupees, it was at 10%. For 9 to 12 lakh rupees, it was at 15%. For 12 to 15 lakh rupees, it was at 20%. And for above 15 lakh, it was 30%. Now, after the changes for FY25, the income up to 3 lakh rupees is exempt from tax. From 3 to 7 lakh rupees, the rate is at 5%. From 7 to 10 lakh rupees, the rate is at 10%. From 10 to 12 lakh rupees, the rate is at 15%. For 12 to 15 lakh rupees, the rate is at 20%. For above 15 lakh rupees, it is at 30%. This tax change was highly anticipated as the government wants to boost the consumption in the country. The slabs for old tax regime, however, remains the same. Here's the tax slabs for your reference. Hope you understood the tax changes in this budget. For more such updates on budget and other news, keep watching ET Now. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.